Welcome to SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Greg Greenberg reporting live from the NASDAQ market site. And today I'm here with Hank Lambert. He's the CEO of Pure Bioscience. Welcome, Hank. Thank you, Greg. Now, there's hardly a week that goes by without a foodborne illness breaking out somewhere. And Pure Bioscience is in the business of attacking those foodborne illnesses and preventing them. Tell me how you do it. Yeah, that's correct, Greg. Hardly a week goes by without a foodborne illness outbreak uh, being in the headlines and with the proliferation of social media uh, becomes widespread news uh, and has very damaging impacts on the companies that are associated with the foodborne illness outbreak. Um, we have a f solution based on our patented antimicrobial technology, silver dihydrogen citrate. We have a food safety solution that we believe is superior to other chemistries and solutions being used in the market today uh, in that we kill a broader range of pathogens faster than other chemistries in use today. We are non-toxic, which is a very important competitive advantage versus the highly toxic chemistries that are currently being used like quaternary ammonia or parasitic acid or chlorine. Um, and we are very user and environment friendly. So um, that combination really gives us a significant competitive advantage and a way to provide uh, a much more effective food safety solution to the market where it's desperately needed. And your chief product is pure hard surface. And this is something you've been selling for years to places like Chipotle and Subway and it fights E. coli, salmonella. Talk about your pure hard surface business. How big is it and where do you think it's going to be by the end of the year? Sure, pure hard surface is our original uh, food safety solution. It is applied to food contact surfaces as a disinfectant. Uh, so in a restaurant environment, it would be applied to uh, food preparation tables or sandwich boards, utensils, back of house, as well as the dining tables in the front of the house. Uh, pure hard surface, as you mentioned, has been adopted by Chipotle to address the foodborne illness outbreaks and issues that they had last year. Uh, we've also been adopted by uh, a growing number of food processors because of our unique effectiveness against listeria, which is one of the primary uh, contaminants of food in a processing environment. Um, we are also uniquely uh, uh, effective against norovirus, which is why Chipotle brought us in. And since Chipotle has brought us in um, and validated our technology as, as a way to address their food safety issues, we have now been contacted by a growing number of restaurant chains who also want to test uh, Pure Hard Surface. Pure Hard Surface today is running at about a $2 million annualized run rate in revenues, uh, but growing rapidly. Our second uh, food safety solution is Pure Control, also SDC based. Pure Control is a direct food contact processing aid and it's used in the processing of uh, fresh poultry, uh, sorry, fresh produce and raw poultry. And it's sprayed or in a dip tank applied directly to the uh, produce and poultry. And that you're going to be selling to the food maker. So you're, they're going to be be putting it on their raw chicken and, and beef and fish before they sell it to supermarkets, correct? That's correct. Right now we are approved. We have our FDA approvals for produce and poultry. Um, and we have two of the three USDA approvals that we need for use in poultry. Um, the way it is applied, it is, it is sprayed on to either the produce during processing, for example, the shredded lettuce that goes into bag salads. Um, it is also uh, applied in a dip tank uh, in some applications. Uh, the same is true for poultry. Poultry right now, we are in the final stages of doing USDA trials in order to get the final approvals we need for commercialization of pure control to poultry processors. Uh, we did make our first sale um, to a, the largest produce processor uh, in the country, Taylor Farms. Uh, a couple of months ago, our first sale of Pure Control, and they are using it, uh, applying it to their shredded lettuce uh, that goes into bag salads. And how big is that market? What are your expectations for Pure Control? Pure Control, the, the produce uh, market, processing aids in produce processing, uh, is about a $300 million plus market. And processing aids used in poultry processing is about a $350 million market. Now, down the road, we also plan to gain regulatory approvals for use in beef and pork processing. That opens up another $400 million market segment for Pure Control. All right. Since we're on the topic of, of 
big money. Why don't you talk a little bit about your balance sheet? You have no debt and you have a whole lot of cash. Correct. Uh, we have a very clean balance sheet, no debt, no preferred stock. Uh, we currently have uh, roughly $3 million in cash at the end of our last fiscal quarter. Uh, and uh, we feel we're in a very, very strong position uh, with our projected revenues uh, to be able to fund the operations of the business and our growth um, and get the cash flow break even. And then finally, so you started off with hard surface, you moved on to uh, pure control. So what's next? What's in the future for pure bio bioscience? Well, we have uh, two uh, initiatives underway. One uh, that is currently being commercialized. We have developed in response to rules that the FDA handed down under the Food Safety Modernization Act uh, for food transport sanitization. Uh, we've developed a solution for food transport companies uh, to disinfect the trailers that, that carry food uh, around the country from processors to restaurants and, and retailers. Uh, we have developed a unique uh, patented misting unit that is used to mist pure hard surface into the trailer. Uh, can be done in under 15 minutes versus the 90 minutes to two hours that it's currently taking uh, food transport companies to clean and sanitize a truck. Uh, so there's significant labor savings there. You turn the trucks over more quickly and keep them in, uh, on the road. Uh, in addition, we are non-toxic and non-corrosive, whereas what they're currently using is quaternary ammonia, which is flood applied to the trailers, highly corrosive, and also uses a significant amount of water and is, is very uh, much a contaminant to the environment and the wastewater. So uh, we have a lot of advantages with our, our food transport sanitization solution that we're just bringing to market now. Uh, we're working with some of the largest food transport companies uh, to adopt that solution. So that, that's very immediate. And as I mentioned earlier, for pure control, uh, we'll be gaining our regulatory approvals for uh, use in beef and pork processing uh, probably sometime in the first half of, of 2018. All right, we're going to look out for it. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching SCN Corporate Connect. <laughs>